We're back. Oh, it kind of went out of focus for a second. Wait, don't we have an intro? Though? We're back. Oh yeah, welcome back. Queen Rasa fam. Anyways, guys, we're back. It's been a minute. Don't come for us. It has been like an hour. <laughs> it's been so long. We had a crazy break. Yeah. I don't think we posted since December. No, we haven't. But, but it's for good reason. We had a lot going on. Like a lot. Especially the holiday time gets super busy. I think we were a little bit in over our heads thinking that we could do vlogmas for that many days in a row yeah. with my birthday because my birthday is on the 20th and then there's Christmas and New Year's Eve and then everything it, it was just a lot for us to do um so we do apologize for the time that we took off now there's no excuse I also was going through a lot of my job and stuff since then I had a job when we were doing YouTube the last video that you saw I had a job mm -hmm. right now I do not have a job I quit my job in February so yeah that's kind of like the little update that we have we're gonna do a little Q&A to get you guys kind of like updated on us because I think there's some new people here that was no, me okay. doing my Q&A sign language I think I'm like casting a spell wait what's Q&A in sign language Q, isn't Q like this Q Q and then I know this is hey. A. Matthew wait, we didn't even do our intro. We did do it. No. Welcome back. What did I used to do? Because then go into the sound. Oh, you mean to our actual intro? Yeah. Going, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, the thing is slipping. with something easy. Did you grow up in a Christian home? So did I grow up in a what? Both of us grew up in a Christian home. Oh, wait, what was the question? Did you grow up in a Christian home? Oh. <laughs> How many oh times my. did you have to repeat the question? Oh my. <laughs> Don't even start. <laughs> I have to repeat to you 50 times for the same Okay, thing. so answer the question. Yes, I grew up in a Christian home. My parents were both saved. But yeah, they raised us Christian. We were at church two to three times a week. Um, just because you go to church doesn't make you a Christian, but we were raised in the right ways and I feel like as we got older, like that verse says, we did not depart from it. Even if, we, even if we went astray for a little bit, yes. Also, little sound warning, we are driving and it is raining, so if the sound is kind of annoying, we apologize. Alrighty, so yep, yeah, I also grew up in a Christian home. So many people are asking how we met, but we did answer this question multiple times. Just look at our last Q&A. Oh, no, we, we can say it really no, quick. No, because it's a long story. We no, can... we'll just say the general story. We met at church when we were seven years old. Yeah, that's true. We in Sunday it. school. But there's like more of the story. If you want to hear the more in-depth story in our last Q&A, we explain all of it. I've known this girl for six 16 years? This year it'll be 16 years. Yeah, that's crazy. This August. 15 and a half years. What's your favorite thing to do together? That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. You want to go first? There's a lot of things that we like to you do. You want to do like so top three? It's hard to say like number one favorite. All right, you give me I think top my top three, other than like the Norwich, normal marriage, Norwich, other than like the normal marriage things, I would say I really like when we sing together, like when mm -hmm. we do worship together. I like when we watch a good movie or a good show together. And of course, like when we pray together, but I feel like other than those types of things, my third favorite would probably be when we travel together. That is probably the top after worshiping. Yeah. Yeah, those are like my favorite three. I would say my favorite, my top three, of course, praying and worshiping together is just super cool because we both have the gift of worship and I think doing it together is like yeah. awesome. Like that's our main, like one of, I think our main spiritual like, gifts, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. really cool. So we get to do that together. I'd say number two, and this is me, going to the gym or like, shooting with like basketball yeah. yeah like together like that is so fun for me yeah and I think also just doing life together is so fun like traveling and driving together stuff like as simple as that is just so fun when you're doing it with the right person these there's two questions that go together somebody said kiddos question mark oh yes in the future yeah okay like, hey, let me just let me just give you the rundown okay our plan for having children would be that somewhere in the 2024 year I can have a belly all right <laughs> even if that's december okay somebody also asked why does matt not want to have kids that is just not oh can not i answer the case. yeah go yeah that's not true at all it's just that i and this is a conversation we matt had is a before. planner okay oh yeah i'm a planner but also at the same time it's like god's timing is everything right but i really wanted i wanted us in the first two years of marriage to really enjoy each other yeah and not that you can't enjoy each other with kids but it's a little different yeah i just thought that you know the first two years for us to just be together and enjoy all all of these things like 
by ourselves would be really cool. And even just like the first two years of marital stuff, like yeah. getting past everything you have to get past working together to make sure that you're a complete unit when you have kids. Right. You know, because I think that's sometimes a mistake people make is like they haven't worked out their own issues in the first years of marriage and then they have kids and the kids feel the issue. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. You know? So mm -hmm. that's those are the two reasons. But now I feel like, you know, we've gotten past that stage where God willing, I would love to have a child very soon. That yeah. would be awesome. Someone said, do we ever go on vacations together? A year. We're going on, we went on vacation. We've already been on three vacations together. Our honeymoon, where it was a vacation, we went to PA. Second vacation we went to was to Bermuda. And then this year we're going to like a Miami slash Bahamas in literally two months. Someone said, how was the wedding night? Be for real. That's wild. <laughs> that's everything. You guys are crazy. Damn, that's like TMI, that's like, bro. you're really getting into some Like, you really busy. need to, you need to back up. You need to back up. Someone said, would you guys do more vlog style type of content? Yeah. A hundred percent. I think I think we actually should be doing yeah. that. Like, I, I, we love doing vlogs. And even on our YouTube, like, so we have the ability to just pick up the camera and just vlog. And mm -hmm. I think we definitely have to do that more. Yeah. So. That's the thing. We, we like vlogging, but also we just try to, we want to maximize, like, and figure out what you guys, like, how the, like, what way do you guys feel most connected to us? And, like, you feel like you know us the most or you get to know us the most? Yeah. If it's in the Q&As or if it's, like, talking style videos, if it's a vlog, like, you guys let us know what is the way that you feel, like, most, I guess, connected to our content or connected to us because that's really the biggest thing. We want to be connected to you guys. So. Yeah. So, you said, what is it like getting married young? I think it is one of the best decisions you can make. I think, of course, you have to make sure financially you're good and everything of that sort but i think if you can do it again there's also the risk of you really need to know who you're marrying when you get married young yeah like i think statistically they say like when you get married young it's like a higher chance for a divorce but that's before the god mm -hmm. the god aspect before the god aspect and also the friendship aspect getting married young was the best decision we could have made and Especially because how long we knew each other and we just felt yeah. like it was time and we didn't want to wait anymore. So you got to work hard though. Yeah. You definitely got to work hard because you're still maturing, you're still growing up. You just got to be able to admit that and then keep going. Someone said, who was a better texter in y'all's talking stages? Definitely me. Yeah. Like, I'm not even saying thing, that. I'm not even saying that to sound boastful. No, it was definitely you. But I Another I definitely thing is was. people don't realize, I think on the internet, people genuinely believe that I'm like the extroverted one and you're like quieter, but it's complete opposite. Yeah, but I've become more like like I used to be a lot more extroverted than I am now yeah I've become more like I know everybody says think, it but ambiverted I think as we like of course when I'm with Matthew which is what you guys see you guys all the videos you guys hear me with Matthew that's gonna be the most extroverted part of my personality but yeah. like on the normal like when I meet somebody for the first time I'm like super quiet and stuff and so like when we were in our talking stages I was so shy like I would barely like I mean I would text but like it's not like how I would talk to you now. Like, it'd be like, me, me. Yeah, in the beginning. Like, yeah, when we're, we're talking about when we're kids. So, by the way, I'm not driving. Uh, if you were like, why do you have no hands on the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Or people think I'm a criminal. <laughs> how has your prayer routine changed from when you were dating to now that you're married? Um, I think one of the biggest things that we prioritize is our individual time of prayer and then yeah. our together time of prayer. You can't neglect either. Mm -hmm. I think if you only pray together, um, that's also not right. I think that you have to be also having your own individual yeah, you gotta prayer go life and then yourself. vice versa. I don't think you should only be praying individually yeah. when you're married. So that's just my opinion. And I feel that that has helped us so much in terms of our routine and getting into a good routine of making sure every day we know we need God. Yeah. And every day we know we need to pray together and even, you know, even if it's a busy day, we got to do something. But also it was different because to answer that question, when we were dating, we were long distance. Yeah. So it's not like we could always just say like, hey, let's come over for Bible study or come over yeah. for a prayer time. Like, you know, we do it over FaceTime sometimes where we pray together. Mm -hmm. So that definitely changed. We did we like Bible plans person. together. And stuff. Yeah, a lot of Bible plans and long distance to the, like we would see each other once or twice a week. Yeah. It's a lot different now that we are able to see each other. So that's really Every cool. Every day, yeah. What is the most memorable date you have had together and why? I love that. Okay, the first shout out whoever that was. The first date. Okay, there's two things that come in my head. There was one that was memorable in a funny way, and then there was one that was memorable like, wow, that was crazy. My first thing that comes to my head is our first official date. Yeah. Yeah, when we went to Olive Garden. Oh my gosh, people are probably gonna crucify me, but I was 16. Yeah, we were 16. So. Matthew took me to Olive Garden, and like, mind you, we would hang out before this and like, and all those things. But this is the first time Matthew was like, let me take you out to. 
Let me take you out to dinner. <laughs> Let me take you out to dinner. <laughs> so we went to Olive Garden. Then we went to literally Central Park, right? We, we went to Central Park, but also that night we went to like youth group that night. It was before youth group. Oh, it was yeah, on a Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um the second memorable one is the day of our engagement. What? Matthew took us to this all you can eat like sushi spot. It wasn't just sushi, it was like it was like Asian food. It was order. so good. It was and really good. It was like great. But the thing with this place is like, like you have to finish everything you eat. If there's you no don't, take home. like there's no take home. If you take something home, you have to pay extra. And like, you know, we're not paying. <laughs> we're not gonna pay the extra. And so Matthew's like, no, we have to finish all this. Food. This is the day we're getting engaged, mind you. Like, Matthew's like, no, you have to finish this food. Like, and I'm like, I literally can't. I literally can't fit anything to my stomach. I'm like chewing things, spitting it out, <laughs> putting it into my napkin. It's so bad. Don't do this. But like, I literally could not finish food. I was so sick. Like, I ate so much food that I actually felt sick. I had to put my head down. Mind you, I already had like an inkling that I was getting, we were, I was getting engaged to this day. And also this day, we're on the way to our engagement, or like to the park that we're supposed to get engaged at. And then he's like, oh, do you want to go home? Because I had to add some. Because he knew that I kind of like had a feeling. I knew she had a feeling. And so he was trying to throw like throw it off the center or whatever. Because like I think some of my friends weren't ready to like, they weren't at the place yet, they didn't finish setting up. So I had to stall. And so I'm like, oh, like we're just in the car and I'm talking. I'm like, you want to just go home? Bro, you should have seen her I was like, face, what? Bro. Your face was like. What do you mean go like, home? Like you look like all the hope and you just got sucked out because it was you literally just crushed my dreams in that moment well i had to add some flair i had right. to make it somewhat of a surprise so i got yeah. you those were the two that i can think of what was your your favorite or um, most memorable is what they asked it was like i think my most memorable one was like it was like i don't recommend doing this but it was like pitch black in central park and we were together and we were walking no date matt that's not a date that's a date no that was a hangout you didn't those were not dates those were not oh, okay. those were not a date all right <laughs> most memorable date i think our first date was fun just because do you remember what day it was you do you do remember what day yeah. it was is the day that somebody's album came out that's yeah right. it was like may it was, I, we have to look at that artist's that album release it was like may 7th or no sorry that's our old date it was something new. yeah this question is do you believe in girls shooting their <laughs> what do you want to say Shooting, shooting their thoughts? Shooting their thoughts. <laughs> do you believe in girls shooting their shots? For someone to say, do you believe in? It's like making me seem like that's like a belief system, like a way of life. Like, <laughs> oh, no. what? I just love a funny joke. What? This is me when Carly's driving. <laughs> So dramatic. It's not right. funny. They're just saying it from like, do you like think that girls should shoot their shots? Which I understand. Um, I think that it depends on the situation and like what does it look like to shoot your shot? Like, are you like what does that mean? Like, are you going to some of these DMs? Are you just talking to them? Because if you're just talking to that person, of course. I think that anybody, if you like somebody, I mean it depends on the situation. I think that if you if there's like a mutual interest there and like you just like want to just make that move, you can just like, hey, like can can I get your snap? Or actually, no, I don't like that. Dang, I, don't, I don't like cringy. Snapchat. Sorry. <laughs> so the hey, can I get your snap? No, I don't even think we should go straight to social media. I think you should just ask for. Actually, I don't even know about the numbers, bro. I think you should just talk to them. I don't. I, I really think that you should just talk to somebody. That is my belief. <laughs> that you just need to talk to people in real life, in person, okay? And well, we're not, not hating on the other. Oh, like, like oh, social media. Bro no, I'm not online hating. On that. hating. Nobody's hating. No, on nobody's that. hating on that. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I think, like, if we're talking about in-person situations, like you see somebody in school or like church or whatever, I, it doesn't hurt to just be like, oh, hey, like, love your outfit. It's kind of fire. And what's the saying? You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. So uh, me, I believe that a girl can shoot their shot, um, especially when I was younger. I was like, you wish oh. that I shot my shot. I never shot my shot. What do you mean? Like, I wasn't good at shooting my shot at you. No, but I knew that you liked me. Yeah, period. Because you made it really obvious. Because when people would start saying she liked it, she'd start crying. All right, relax. <laughs> when I was a child, when I was a child, you need to clarify that because you make me sound like a crybaby, you dingus. You are a crybaby. <laughs> you are a little crybaby. Stop! So, dingus. I think, dingus. You know, especially in this day, if you want to shoot your shot, shoot it. Yeah, period. And you may miss, <laughs> but shoot again. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 not the same person. Not. 
you gotta shoot at a different basket. Yeah, shoot it in a different basket. But, I, I think it's but make fine. sure you like the basket. Don't just shoot at the basket because it's a basket. You yeah. get what I'm saying? You I, get what I'm putting I down. I think it's totally fine though to shoot your shot. But please make sure they're not like some crazy person. I say that with respect. Because respect. people will be shooting their shot literally in the dark. In the, literally. It goes into a random basket. It goes into a random basket and they don't even know they don't even know the basket like that. They just be shooting. Guys, it's literally such a nice rainy day. I feel like, I keep yawning because this is making me sleepy. Making me want to go take a snap. Anyways. We're happy to be back. We will. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. What in the world? We'll be back next week, guys. We're going to be back on our YouTube gang, okay? Guys, I i haven't said this before, or maybe I have and I'm, I sound like a broken record, but we have other platforms. We post mostly on TikTok, and we are trying to get back in more into posting on Instagram. So click the little description down below. And follow, follow us. us on TikTok. Follow us on follow Instagram. Us. And you can see more of our day-to-day -day lives. We will definitely be more present on YouTube, okay? We love you guys. We love you. We will see you, Kuna Rasa fam. We'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my hot breath. <laughs>